Hi, my name is Andrew Watkins. I'm an architect, urban designer uh, at SWA Group here in Laguna Beach, California. Uh, I graduated from Syracuse University in 2002 from the architecture program. So when you were sitting in that studio in Syracuse with the snow outside, is this what you envisioned yourself doing? Uh, I don't know if I envisioned myself doing exactly this, uh, but I was certainly interested in working on urban projects. And so this has been uh, one of several jobs that has been a, a part of uh, kind of the, the line of work that I love to do. And now you studied abroad in Florence, right? When it, which just seems to be where the architect students go, yeah, right? Yeah, they have a program there and now in London as well. And tell me about how that experience helped you in terms of, you know, getting a job and just your overall college experience. What was that like for you? Sure. Uh, Florence was awesome. Uh, the, the studio experience there is great. Uh, and, you know, architecture is a pretty hard program. So Florence is, is somewhat of a break. Uh, and it also gives you a, a real urban environment. You know, Syracuse is a city, but uh, the, the urban environment in, in Florence is something special. I would highly recommend it to uh, anyone who, who has the chance to go over. Syracuse doesn't exactly have the history that Florence does either. No, when you're <laughs> no. And you know, there, you know, Florence becomes a little bit of a, a museum, but it's a wonderful place to understand what kind of the pedestrian scale and and what a true dense urban environment can be like. You touched on it a little bit as architecture being a really demanding major. I mean, I had friends who spent hours upon hours upon nights upon days in the studio. What, you know, what helped you get through it? What would your advice be to, to freshmen just starting out on how to survive the, sure. <laughs> the program? I, I guess my advice would be to make sure that architecture is your passion because uh, it is hard and uh, it will push you and you know, it needs to be something that uh, you're willing to, to go after wholeheartedly. Uh, and so if it's your passion, I think you'll, you'll work hard and, and it won't be a problem. Uh, if it's not your passion, you might want to consider doing something else for a bit. Uh, there's always a master's degree in architecture. Uh, and so just kind of look inside yourself and, and figure out what you want to do. Just tell me a little bit about what your day to day is. I think students, you know, they get into the swing of what a classroom experience and a studio experience is like, but what's it like when you really get here and, you know, we just, we look around your office sure. and see, I'll just do a little showing of all the renderings all over the walls and, I mean, it's, it's kind of intense. It's a, it's a big, a kind of a war room, if you will, it is, right? It is, it's probably a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> um, you know, the office is, it can be an intense environment. Uh, we, you know, I typically start off the day looking at my email, you know, getting, getting that out of the way. Uh, and then hopefully I'm drawing. Uh, you know, of course there's meetings and, and coordination things that have to happen, but mm -hmm. ideally I'm drawing and that's either, I do a lot of drawing by hand or uh, on the computer, kind of a mix between the two, uh, which I think is great. Uh, and uh, so that's, that there's no real set schedule, it all, yeah. it all varies. And you said a lot of your work actually goes up in China. What's that like to know that the things you're drawing in Laguna Beach, California are actually... <laughs> it, it, it does. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but it's awesome. You know, I think we are some of the best skilled people to be doing this kind of work. Uh, and Syracuse provides great training uh, for uh, urban projects, for understanding spatial relationships in the city. Uh, and. and uh, it's, it's a great experience to be able to uh, do drawings and have it built so quickly. The, the um, speed of development in China is just breathtaking uh, and the ability to work on truly innovative projects uh, that make a difference uh, for people's lives is great. Anything that you can talk to about networking and how you've been able to land one job to another and you know we work with our students a lot about how you take that next step. You know, what was it for you? You said this hasn't been your only job since graduating. What's gotten you from job to job? Now, it, to be honest, it's probably almost all about networking, either um, connections that I've made from, you know, while working at jobs to other jobs or uh, from past professors at Syracuse. Uh, one of, uh, or several of my jobs have been through professors. Wow. Uh, even this one is the, my boss. Uh, graduated from Harvard with a professor at Syracuse who had also graduated at Harvard and so this was in fact a connection through a, a Syracuse uh, professor. All right, fantastic. Anything you think I missed? Um, 
not off the top of my head. Can we all move out here to Laguna Beach with you? Yeah, it is gorgeous here. <laughs> it is a nice place to live. All right, Andrew Watkins, class of 2002, now working at SWA Design? No, SWA, SWA Group. Group in Laguna Beach, California. Thanks, Andrew. No problem.